We're here in the Boathouse District where for the next four days, the Oklahoma City Regatta Festival will be taking place. A celebration of dragon boat racing, whitewater rafting, kayaking and rowing. You know, for some it's all about fun and games, but for others, a group of full time athletes here in the city, it's about much more chasing their dreams of the Olympics. The backdrop is the Oklahoma River, bright and early. Part of a regular routine for full time rower Rich Hansen. His technique is graceful. His dedication fierce. Well, we came up with this mantra. It's called uh, row hard, get nasty. And it's just, it's, it embodies what I do. It's row, row your heart out and just get to it. Just get down on it. I shadowed Rich during part of his morning workout routine to see if I could hold up. He's a guy who's been rowing and sculling since college, chasing an Olympic dream. He says he can't imagine doing much else. It's something that's just inspired me since, since I heard about um, since I heard about rowing. Um, yeah, the pride of country, um, the excellence of sport. Um, it's something that I thought about every single day for the last four and a half years. We're gonna sit at the finish to start. 12 workouts a week, each two and a half hours long, but he does keep himself busy when off the water. I work at a, a dog daycare uh, and, uh, and also a Twisted Spike Brewery. But good athletes need good coaches, like Riley Dampier, a former athlete herself. I love it. I grew up wanting to be a teacher. So, you know, so then I was introduced to this sport and it's been a fantastic way for me to teach, you know, and, and help these athletes develop. Even athletes like me. After a few flubs, I got into a rhythm, but decided to leave the rowing to the pros. You got the sequencing. Just a little bit more time, I think. Maybe this time next year. That's right. Maybe we'll be talking about you as one of the athletes. The Regatta Festival starts today and runs through Sunday. If you want a full list of times and events, you can go ahead and log on to our website, news9.com. Reporting on the scene on the story in the Boathouse District, Chris Gilmore, News 9.